Hello gentlemen, this is Showman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. I am with a pipeline specific subject today. I hope all of you are aware of pipeline berm. Today I, will, I am talking about some specific term like berm stabilization of pipeline. Why we need to make a berm, why we need the pipeline berm stabilization. Let us start the subject. I will discuss some uh, new technology induced and we have used in our project recently. Stay with me till the end of the video. Why we need a berm over underground pipeline? Underground pipelines are generally protected with earthen berms. Pipeline berms are earthen structures used primarily to divert and control water flow, preventing erosion and sedimentation along pipeline routes. They can also be used to provide additional resistance against pipeline lateral and vertical displacement, especially in challenging soil conditions. Some of the main purposes of forming a berm over the pipeline can be erosion and sediment control, berms intercept and divert surface water runoff, preventing it from flowing directly onto or around the pipe trench. So, it is protecting the pipe actually with this berm. This reduces the potential for soil erosion and sediment transport so that the pipeline will be naked for further disruption or damage. Sediment trapping. Berms can trap sediment by uh, slowing down the flow of runoff, allowing sediment particles to settle out. They can also filter sediment as water passes through the berm. Pipeline stabilization can be one of the purpose. Uh, lateral and vertical resistance. Berm, especially if it is make, made of rock, can increase uh, the resistance of soil surrounding the pipeline, making it less likely to move literally or vertically due to external forces or changes in the soil condition. Protection from environment forces. Bombs can protect the pipeline from environmental forces like wave action, especially in marine environment. Now I will give you some reason which is seen by me. The reasons we discuss okay that are valid but not for the country like Gulf where sand dunes and desert we have to run through with a cross country pipeline. Here the main purpose of the berm to keep the pipeline cool and protects the pipeline from external damage. The high berm is visible so that it reduces the chances of any vehicle or cranes or heavy equipment pass over the pipeline directly and damage it. Restoring pipeline corridor. Bombs can help control erosion along the restored pipeline corridor after the pipe is installed and before vegetation is established. Reducing earth pressure. Bombs can use to divide embankment into sub areas, reducing the earth pressure on the foot of the embankment. In essence, bombs are a key component of pipeline design and construction, helping to protect both the pipeline itself and the surrounding environment from erosion and other potential problems. You can see I have uh, given some example of bomb how it looks. It is a trapezoidal shape you can see. So typically bombs are like this and it needs to be stabilized. So pipeline especially in Gulf countries runs over the deserted area where sandstorm is a regular phenomenon which is easily blowing the sweet sand cover or protection during high wind or sandstorm. Pipeline need a cover with heavier marls in the form of trapezoidal berm. With time this marl cover also getting blown away or washed away. But the marl berm alone cannot um, guarantee that it will stay for months or years because sandstorm sometimes very severe. So even these marls also can be getting blown away or washed away day by day. To keep this berm marl in position, we need the berm to be stabilized with water, crude oil, etc. To stabilize a pipeline berm, several methods can be used, including placing graded rock over the pipeline, using erosion control blanket or planting vegetation. The choice of method depends on factors like uh, the location of the pipeline, the type of soil and environmental conditions. Rock berms, a common method 
to dump quarried and graded rock over the pipeline creating a protective berm. The rock berm should be designed with sufficient size and volume to withstand hydrodynamic loading and to prevent the pipeline from breaking out. Erosion control blankets. These blankets help soil erosion by providing a protective layer and encouraging vegetation growth. Geotextiles are being also used in the areas here in Gulf areas near seashore where high level of water can wash away the berm during the high tides and the low tides. Vegetation. Uh, planting vegetation such as grass and other native spices can help stabilize the soil to prevent the erosion. So far in Gulf countries, waste crude oils are being used or sprayed over the pipeline berm, which creates a oily thick layer and protecting the berm long years from blowing away during the sandstorm or high wind. This method of stabilization is cheaper, easier. Getting crude oil is also cheaper option for the proponent pipeline owner or the contractors. Wheat has been proven environmentally unsafe, absolutely unsafe, toxic, especially for the camels and the desert animals uh, who is roaming around the desert for their food or grazing from there. There is a chance they can swallow this type of toxic materials and might danger their life. So, the new idea of technology or pipeline bombs stabilization is uh, being researched and developed. In this technology, sand movement mitigation trials by utilizing the technology of sand bombs sprayed with chemical polymers. This technology is not only being implemented to protect the pipeline bomb, but also around the sand dunes beside desert asphalt road in the sandstorm prone areas. So, it protects the road as well as pipeline bound uh, so that the road will not be blocked by the sand. Application and possibilities of this polymer. So, we are discussing with the um, bomb new technology with spraying polymer over the bomb which can last longer and longer years without creating any environmental impact. These are environmentally safe, advanced, powerful polymer emulsion that produces highly effective dust control, erosion control and soil stabilization. It provides excellent bonding, cohesion, versatility, cost effectiveness, environmental compliance and superior overall performance that can be used in stabilizing and dust control of open desert sand, polymer sand, road alternative to asphalt, dust control on construction sites, dust and erosion control of highway embankment and pipeline embankments, railways, helipads and pedestrian walkways. Improving aesthetical of landscape like parks, golf course and roads. Reduce construction cost, reduce maintenance cost, reduce environmental impact and we have a fast result. The application is very easy and very quick. So, what are the advantages of this polymer? These are, these are applicable for all types of soils and sand, easy application, better stiffness means very strong, non-toxic and unleaded and environmentally friendly. Polymer spray companies, they have some prerequisites from the contractor which they should be prepared before the spraying can be done. The bomb slope will be as required in the IFC drawing. The surface shall be smooth without footprints. Prior to application, inspection or verification of bomb construction shall be completed. Area must be treated in dry condition with no significant precipitation within a 72 hours drying window following application. Wind speed shall not be more than 30 km per hour during application. Curing time shall be followed. It is 5 to 7 days minimum duration for curing and maximum 21 days. The site shall be inspected after 2 days of spraying. The water shall be free of sand and other solids contamination. Before we start the polymerization, first preparation of the chemical, I mean mixing with waters are very important. Pump with flow meter shall be used to transfer the concentrated TF2000 is a name of a product of some of the contractor. Just for an example, uh, assume that our 
chemical name is TF2000. Transfer the concentrated TF2000 to the mixing or spraying container. Then here are the pumps, how the flow meters are there to you know in, in mix it at a rate of 1 is to 10. TF2000 if 1 percent then water should be 10 part ratio subject to soil analysis. If different type of soil we might need a different type of ratio, but this is a general proportion. The water in the tanker should be calibrated to calculate the amount of TF2000, then there should be some graduation I mean. So, one part of TF2000 and you put 10 parts of water for the dilution. The mix must be circulated using the pump. Uh, empty, uh, empty tanks will be flushed and extract all polymer using the pump and water from the tanker. Okay. Now, application procedure, surface to be smooth or gated using concrete leveling bar before spraying, no footprints I discussed before. The polymer quantity should be measured and spray area should be allocated uh, to the polymer quality. Let us say 21,000 liters of diluted TF2000 must cover plus minus 4200 uh, square meters. So, calculate and mark out the spray area for the tanker load of diluted TF2000 to ensure that the spray rate is 5 liter per square meter. Ensure spray rate is correct, set the flow meter accordingly, spray the diluted TF2000 on the to the smoothened area, uh, sprayed area will be closed for 3 days to allow minimum curing. Curing time varies depends on the temperature, summer it will be quicker and winter it will be slower. Pump hoses spray guns will be flushed or cleaned with water once spraying is completed after each spraying session. Here you can see the photo how they are spraying it. I will also put a video for this. Here you can see before the application the labors are uh, making some kind of uh, roughening of the bomb with hand shovel this roughening actually creating a surface profile so that the polymer can uh, enter inside the berm and it can hold it uh, for long time. If it is very smooth polymer might be sprayed over it and it will not penetrate the soil or mud of the berm. Application of the polymer you can say there is a tanker carried over the side through broom truck and then people are spraying it evenly areas are marked. Let us say we said that 21,000 liter can spray around plus minus 4,200 square meter. So, accordingly it is uh, calculated. After spray it is transparent after curing it looks like nothing has been done here and then when you touch you can see it is very very hard. Here are the other possibilities of application of this polymer. You can see this desert and sand prone area. Uh, where asphalt roads are covered by the wind blown sand during sandstorm. This, uh, these sands you know we can remove at the side of the road and you can put the uh, spray here even in the heli pads even uh, road intersections. So, that is all for this subject today. Thank you. Hope you like the subject. Please do not forget to share and subscribe my channel. Hit the like button if you like to see more please subscribe my channel. Signing off for today, Showman.